Hey Paul, let's go yeah. do some golfing today. Oh, that sounds awesome, but I think we should film episode three of the Burger Brothers. Well, we're in luck because there is a burger cafe right next door to a golf center. Really? Yeah. What's it called? Jill's Burgers. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go. Ah! Oh, did you feel that? Yeah, what was that? I think it was an earthquake. I think it was just a gopher. That's no gopher. Kaiju! Welcome to episode three, I believe, three. of the Burger Brothers. We are at a place called Jill's Burger. It's kind of an interesting place because it's actually like a golf center. It's, it's associated yeah, yeah, yeah. with some sort of golf center. Like next door, right over, right through the doorway right there, there's yeah. a golf, like indoor golfing uh, simulator. Yeah, yeah, like a driving range. It's raining a lot today. We this it's near the town of Machida. Mm -hmm. This particular place but they have some amazing looking burgers on here. And the thing that really got me excited was 100% Japanese beef here. So it says it's Yakupa Sent Wagyu. So I'm really excited Wait, about that. Wait, is this that. Wagyu or is it just beef, Japanese beef? It literally says Wagyu. Okay, but okay. Wa means Japanese and Gyu means beef. So 100% yeah, yeah, yeah. Wagyu means 100% Japanese beef. Okay. But it's not, your $500 Wagyu steak. Yeah, it's not an A5 Wagyu. Right. Wagyu they have different simply ra means ratings. Japanese beef, right? Okay. So it, domestic, it's domestic beef, but you're right, it's not gonna be super expensive. It's a reasonable price here. Um, we ordered a cheese, uh, chili cheeseburger. Chili cheeseburger, yep. As you know, we're always interested in spicy stuff. Yeah, chili so cheeseburger. Yeah, uh, 1,450, 480. Right, it's uh, 1,300 plus topping. Or yeah. 1480 or whatever. Um, what else did we order? We ordered the bacon egg burger. Bacon and egg burger. Thir 1380. 1380. 200 yen more to make a set. Yep. The burger comes with fries already, but the drink is 200 extra for that. Um, we did notice they have some amazing looking massive burgers here. There's the Jill's burger, which is a triple. <laughs> we, we debated, but no. And then there's the monster burger, which is the triple burger with all everything on there. Everything. It's like the Zimbo, Zimbo yeah, Nose Zimbo burger. Yeah, burger. It's like 2,500 yen. Um, the only thing we're a little worried about is where was that? Here. The Goro Goro. Yeah. So Goro Goro meat. If you remember season one, I believe we went to Suji's, <laughs> and it was a little kind of crunchy, not crunchy, like yeah. It wasn't ground very fine, and it really put me off. And well, it had like I'm cartilage and stuff in it. Yeah, I'm a little worried. You know, 100% beef sounds amazing, but you know, it's gotta be a finely ground beef. Um, it also comes with a whole grain bun as well. That looks good. It does. Okay. okay, our burgers have arrived, and they look Yay. amazing. We saw the waitress bring some to another table, which is also cool that there's a lot of people here, not too many, but a lot of people here ordering these burgers, which is a good sign that they're going to be good, but they look incredible. Um, which one do you want to start with? Uh, the non messy one. Uh, okay, it's just bacon and egg on okay, this okay. one, right? Bacon and egg. Hi, okay, hi. we'll start with this. Um, of course, we forgot to ask them to cut it. Yeah. But we got a off. knife, so we're going to okay. give it a shot. Here we go. Attempt, attempt to cut this in half. <laughs> Okay, we got through. Ugh, there's a lot That's of layers. A tall burger. Yeah, I'm just gonna rotate it and come from this side now. The bun is like super soft, as you can probably tell. Oh, it's coming out. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Okay, the gripping excitement. I, Got okay, it? we can see there's the egg, there's the bacon, bacon. in there. Yep. Beef re patty. Reasonable looking bacon. Beef patty. Onions. Onion, tomato, tomato lettuce. lettuce. And some and kind of mayo sauce? Yeah, it looks like, I think it's a tartar sauce, you know, the okay. that sort of eggy kind yeah. of tartar sauce. Um, was there any sauce on top? Yeah, there's some sort of ketchup-y kind of thing going on up there too. 
All right, let's get into the egg, bacon egg burger. Yes, bacon egg burger. All right, mm. cheers. The dressing. I think it might just be a Japanese tartar sauce. Okay, well I'm enjoying it. This is this is really well. This is really good. There's no like runny egg though. It's pretty thoroughly cooked. Mm. It's not rubber. You prefer? It's yeah, not yeah, rubber yeah. like McDonald's. Yeah. Do you like a but, runny egg or do you like a Yeah, runny egg is obviously gonna be better, but in our situation where we had to cut it in half. I kind of think it might have been better it wasn't so runny. <laughs> it would have been twice as messy. And it's already maximum mess. <laughs> Is it maximum? I think the next one is going to be way more okay. messy. That's a pretty tasty burger though. Yeah, the patty's holding together. It didn't taste as much like breakfast as I thought it might. Bacon and egg, right? Oh, that's what you were thinking? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we'll put it in the in the sleeve and then we'll cut this one. This is definitely see, see messy if it works one. any better. This is definitely messy. Okay. Is there more lettuce on this one? Yeah. Should like I just go lettuce. for it or should yeah, I yeah, just rotate go for it. it? Just go for just it. Just go for it. Okay. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay, I went for it, and that's what happened. Go. So, it's got the same fixings. It's got the onion and the tomato. Whoa. Didn't quite get through that. There we go. Okay. Um, you knocked off about half your tomato down there. Oh, I did too. So yeah, there's the dressing down the bottom there. Again, I think it's a tartar sauce, the patty. The chili sauce is on top there, and there's cheese, mm -hmm. onion, and I heard there was a tomato. Oh, there it is. Here, have this onion, and I'll snag this tomato. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that I think that technique maybe worked a bit better. <laughs> so we'll have to remember in the future if we gotta end up in this situation, we gotta do that sort of thing. But yeah, reassembled, it looks really good. I'm excited, nice <laughs> sort of orange cheese there. So the basic chili burger doesn't come with cheese. We added that as an extra topping. Mm. All right, you ready to go in? Uh, or not you still exactly. gotta it's, assemble? It's messy. <laughs> okay, I'll eat some fries. I saw them salting the fries, but I don't know, not very salty. I think I'm ready. All right, here we go. Ding. Ding. Mm. This is way more messier. Mm -hmm. Messier. This is almost like a moss burger kind of thing, but instead of spaghetti sauce, you have a really weak chili sauce. It's not yeah. really chili. It's very sort of tomato ketchup-y <laughs> kind mm -hmm. of chili sauce. Not spicy whatsoever. They said it's a homemade sauce, so you know whatever. Yeah. Whatever the style they want, I guess that's what they go with. Still good. Well, these are the wrapping. Mm -hmm. You have a good place for your uh, sauce to catch. You can yep. use your fries to dip it in. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, vote on the Jill's Burger experience. Yeah. See where it falls. So this is the third episode. So the first and second episodes, we have them ranked already. Uh, Buns. Buns, I think, is the top. Yep. And then Go Cheese is second. Yep. So th this being third, we'll figure out where it ranks. Based on our voting system, we give a 10 to the bun, the patty, and the toppings, Top, basically. Yep. Um, so Aaron and I, you saw our burgers. We also have Serena with us here. She had a burger as well. What what burger did you have again? Egg cheese burger. An egg, the egg cheese burger. Egg cheese burger. So we had okay. bacon egg. She had cheese and egg. Okay. Um, do you want to vote with us? Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Yo. <laughs> okay. So we'll count her score and we'll average them to get the score so we can rank them. Okay. With the other places we've been to. So. Let's start with the bun. Number one, hamburger okay. bun. So I think about what would you give it out of 10 and then vote using that many fingers, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, vote. Seven. No, I gave a seven as well. Seven. Oh, seven. Seven's across the board. So why a seven? All right, so for me, it was definitely a tasty bun. 
Uh, I really enjoyed the flavor that it had. I wish it was more toasted. Um, mm -hmm. It was too soft at points. Like I felt I was like it was gonna. The softness was a nice feature, but you're right. It maybe it was a bit too soft. I just think. I mean, <laughs> there's always something. It was to chewy. About. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't know if it was going to hold together, which yeah. it did. It actually did it hold did. together, it was but I was good. really worried about it yeah. for a long time. I mean, it could have been a little bigger, but... Yeah. Oh, the bun to meat ratio? It was a good... Seven is a good score for a bun. Yeah. Mm, Overall, yeah, pretty good. I, might have, I could have gone maybe eight, but yeah, seven. We all agreed seven. Okay. Okay. Toppings. Um, we had bacon and egg on one. We had egg chili. Egg and cheese. Chili and cheese. Chili and cheese and egg, egg and cheese. cheese. Egg and cheese. Hmm. Mm. Do you have a number? Mm. Toppings number? Okay, you ready? Hey. Three, two, one, seven. seven. Eight. Oh, eight. Seven, seven, Ooh. eight. Okay, so for me, I would have liked the egg to have been runny, of course. Okay. And also the chili could have been more like chili. <laughs> but they were really good. The bacon was really good. At least I thought so. I really I, liked it. I enjoyed the cheese. I thought the cheese was tasty. The onions and tomatoes were really good. Um, maybe like the onions, I would have been more of a grilled person on those. Yeah. But, I mean, it, it was raw Some onions. places there's just too many onions yeah. or something. But here I mean, it was it fine. It was quite a bit of onion, yeah. but I still died. It was okay. Yeah. Um, I like the sauce that they had on there. Right. That was really good. Oh, hi. hi. Oh, yeah, uh, so the toppings was a total mess, but that's kind of our fault for cut having to cut it in half. Now, so I, I things don't that really, could have been better. I don't really. The chili could have been better, and the egg could have been better. Yeah, basically, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else is really good, though. Yeah. The tomato was, really was good. good, fresh, crisp. Yep. Why did you give it an eight for toppings? It was all the fresh. It was all fresh. Yeah. Okay. Lettuce was good. Okay. Yeah. Very fresh vegetables. So yes, that was nice. Okay. All right. Last one is the uh, patty. Yes, the patty, the meat patty. Wagyu, 100% beef. Yep. So I mean, can't be bad, right? Wow. <laughs> we'll wait till we vote and see. Yeah. Yep. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. 8.5 8 8.5 <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. We were on the same yeah. page for this I one. I gave it a little half score higher. Why? Well, yeah. <laughs> because it wasn't quite a I was worried that it was going to be really bad and I was so happy that it was actually really good. Okay, now why were you worried? Because the goro menu goro. said goro goro. And yeah, on the menu it <laughs> says there's goro goro meat, which is like yeah. a Chunky. crumbly, chunky yeah. kind of meat, and he's not a fan of that. Yes, I have PTSD from season one. <laughs> that place we went to was terrible. Sushi. But this was great. There were no like chewy chunks. No, there in wasn't it. at it was all. Just perfectly fine quality beef. Uh, you know, Why I, not? I like a little bit more seasoning. Yeah. Again, that's what it comes down to. But it was cooked well. Wasn't overcooked. It was tasty meat, but I'd that. agree. If it had a little more, maybe yeah. salt and pepper or something to it, it yeah. would have been better. For sure. Good burger. Okay, so we have done the math and we figured out where this ranks. Um, Jill's will come in. Second place. Second place, yeah. So Buns is still the top. Slight margin. 7.8. Total, total score was 7.5. And that was even with Jill's. Siri helping out. Like yeah. Siri gave it a better score than us. But we're all like right there, neck and neck. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's a fair assessment of this place. Yeah, 7.5 really out of 10. Good, really it's really good, good burger. So value-wise, I think it's a fair value. Is it yeah. expensive? No. Is it cheap? No. It's like right in the average price range. That yeah. monster burger, though, I might have to come back for it. <laughs> well, now, now that I now know. That we know, yeah, that it's actually good, yeah. <laughs> uh, I will say, though, the fries were kind of just meh for me. I think it was they just need a, a bit more salt or something. They do now. We, oh. we got a second order of fries. Oh, oh. okay. Definitely. And these have a lot more salt on them. Oh, yeah. A little bit better. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fries are much better this time around. The <laughs> first batch we got didn't have any like a lot of salt on them. I actually really do like the atmosphere here. Yeah. I like there's a little golf simulator right here. You got outside there's a little basketball hoop, there's swings, there's uh, a little putting green for you to go out on. Yeah. It's just the, a rainy day today, we can't be out yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. On a sunny day you can see there'd probably be a lot of people out there putting practicing golf. Also, as is typical with a lot of sort of 
gourmet, I guess we'd say, hamburger places in Japan. Dog friendly. Yes. At least outside. I'm not sure if you can bring Moose Hills and other places like but, that. Yeah, yeah, I've noticed a lot of these places you can bring your dogs to and stuff, which is, I guess, it's good if you have a dog. <laughs> I would like it if I had a dog. Yeah. Overall, I really like this place. I would definitely come back here and I would definitely have a burger. Mm. And it may I, be the Monster Burger. I'm not sure. Or the Jill's <laughs> Burger. Yes. All right, so let's wrap up this video and get out of here. I just want to say thanks to you guys for watching. Thanks to Aaron. We got Serena here. Thank of you, course, Serena. Kaiken's here too. Um, yeah, it's a great, great little place. If you're in the Machida area and it's a sunny day or even it's a rainy day, come, come and check out Jill's Burgers. Great place. <laughs> if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down yeah, there. Please hit the thumb up button. And don't forget to ring that notification bell, ding, 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 aka ding. our dinner bell, so they don't miss our next video. We'll see you guys next week. Peace.